All right, I have my colors ready to go in my palette. I pre-mixed those a little bit darker than I need to because I want to make kind of a multicolor wash. I'm just going to think about the beak, not the red part, because I think I can do that kind of separately after I do the, the top and bottom of the main part of the beak. So I have some yellow, and I have some light blue, and I have some greenish blue, and I have some orange. Um, and I'm not going to get the colors exactly perfect. I'm not worried about that, but this is the resource I'm going from. And here's how you get it going. It is the it's a trick of knowing how wet the paper is. There's a little drip out there. So you need to put clean water down first. This is kind of like our sunset. But we are going to let the paper soak in more of the water. And I'm not worried if I bump into those little spikes. See these little spikes on my photo? Because those are darker. I'm not worried about if I go over the, the crease between the bottom and the top of the beak, because that is a darker part right there. So I'm going to go right up to the red. And again, I'm letting this soak in. That's why I kind of keep moving it around so it evenly kind of soaks in. So I'm just going to gently keep moving that water around. Now with our sunset, we wanted some of that water to be floating on top so we could move the board around and let that those sunset colors kind of move left and right and just a little bit bump into each other. Now, the fun part, watching water dry. <laughs> and I need to, you can see the reflection. Oh, looks like I missed a spot right there, so I have to come down here. Let's get that reflection going. Now it's kind of everywhere. And you just need to let it soak in. So when we put our colors in, they won't bleed absolutely everywhere. All right, I cut away for a few minutes just so you wouldn't have to watch water dry. And you can tell the paper is still wet, but it's not moving around. And you can also see if I do that, the paper is warping a little bit. That's pretty normal. Don't worry about that. We do have to pay attention to that so the color doesn't um, just fall down in there. Right now, let's see, I need to start to put in some color. So I see some, and I have my resource right over here. Okay, you can kind of keep that in mind. And I'm just, I see some yellow spots right there. It's bleeding a little bit, but not everywhere. I'm going to wash my brush out. I'm going to get my orange and just kind of dab it right there, because there's an orange patch there. See, it's not bleeding everywhere, and I'm not moving the board around right now. I'm letting it lay flat. There's some orange that goes across the top edge. Now, if it bleeds too far, here's a good trick. I'm going to wash out my brush, hit it against my paper towel, and just kind of say, no, 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 get out of there. I'm just going to kind of push it away from where I don't want it. Again, that should be with a pretty clean brush. Now I can get in there with my more of my um, blue-greens, and, and there's not much painting again. More kind of dabs and just little brush strokes. There's kind of my yellowy blue-green. It changes a little more to a blue up front here. So I'm not painting much, I'm just Barely moving it around. There's more of a blue, maybe a little bit of a blue green up on top. Grab some yellow. I don't think there's enough yellow in that. Let's get a little more of that blue or that yellow green right up next to that black stripe. I have to touch my screen so it doesn't go away. <laughs> Pushing it right up to the edge of where I had where my water was. Now, as this soaks in, I can start adding a little color to it as long as it is still kind of wet. 
So if I want that orange right there to be a little bit brighter, see it's, it's still kind of wet, but it's not moving around very much. I'm going to grab some orange and just do a little more right there where I want it to be a little more intense. Maybe I'll make the, the top a little bit more orange too. See right there, it's falling down into that little valley. So I'm going to move it. I'm going to tip the board and move it. Kind of like the sunset. I don't want these colors to all blend in together. So I really have to watch where they go. And again, this color, these colors look awfully kind of dull. And I, I know that right now. But when I get the darker background, the darker colors of the toucan going, I know it's going to have a brighter more lively feel to it. The color underneath on the bottom looks a little bit more of a richer blue. Okay, at this point, I'm just gonna kinda go left and right, left and right. If it starts to go too far, I'll take a, a kind of a thirsty brush and just say, get out of there, get out of there, like that. Let's make sure it doesn't fall down into the valleys. And again, this is not perfect, not at all. It's just soaking up a little bit right there. If some parts don't move anymore, and I let's say I wanted that, see where it kind of goes blue to green right there, and I want that to move a little more, I can take the littlest drop of water and just go touch, 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 and see if I can get those to bleed together a little bit. All right, I'm gonna stop this I'm going to continue letting it pretty much just go left and right, and then when it kind of stops moving around, I'll come back and show you after I've got it blow dried. All right, this wet wash is nice and dry. You can see it's not perfect, not at all. I could go in there and I put that little black line there to start to get the idea that it's gonna be brighter next to some of these darker colors. I can go in there to in, uh, improve some of these things by putting on um, that little line between, let me practice that line, that little line between the top and bottom. It's a little bit thicker down here. That's just the first undercoat. I'll probably make that a little bit darker. And then down here is where those spikes happen. Okay, I'll make that a little darker, but I'll let that dry first. Then I'll do a darker line right on the top part of that. I could go in with a little bit of a green and a blue and do some little bit of dry brush, making some parts a little bit darker. Use my paper towel to kind of feather it, and that's part of another video that I have as well. I could go in and do that. I could certainly go in there and start working that uh, that red and that red is not all the exact same so I'll go in and maybe make some little lighter spots maybe pull out there's some actually this could be the undercoat I could just keep adding water to that to get it a little bit lighter there's a reflection in the red right there I could work around so other things need to happen. This is much more of a violet kind of red when I finally get through with this. I'll do another layer. And again, this is kind of like just a base coat or all this other stuff. It's always light to dark. So that could be my first coat of that top, top part of the beak that's out here farther. Okay, so all those things will help. Check this out. I made a nice dark green-red mix because this background is awfully dull green. And it's nice and dark. And this may not be dark enough. I may have to go over it again. But I can use this chisel brush. I'm going to grab a little more green in that. And then maybe use some water to... Make it look a little more washy and fuzzy. 
I'm not going to finish this, but I just really wanted to make sure that you can see where when you get some darker things in the background or up next to it, it's going to be much better. Look how the bottom, the very bottom of this beak has a sh kind of a shadow effect under there. So I'm going to make that pretty dark and use my paper towel to help me get that little softer edge right there. And that's going to look darker underneath there as well. So things will happen if you're not quite satisfied. And I wouldn't have been satisfied just leaving it like it was. All those other parts are going to make it come to life. So there you go. Don't give up too soon. Let other things affect the colors that you put down first. Here we go.